Friday morning, Friday off to a dry start. Chance for some precipitation later in the day. What form will it be in, Michelle? We're thinking mostly light rain for our area. Uh -huh. The track has shifted a little bit further north, keeping most of the snow up into Massachusetts. Right, and even at good. that, it's minor. Okay. Let's take a look at the conditions outside right now. From our temperatures, we're in the upper 20s in Providence and New Bedford, 31 in Newport, and about 25 degrees right now in Smithfield. It's a chilly start to the day. Month, mostly clear skies. Boston at 31. Will Amantic down to a... a Frosty 23 degrees looking at our Newport camera right now and we've got dry conditions as you kick off your morning commute that light mix in the afternoon again maybe briefly some flakes mixing in but mostly light rain showers it's dry this weekend and then we've got a mild rainstorm on the way for Monday into Tuesday temperatures will be soaring into the 50s but comes with quite a bit of rainfall right now we're dry on our roadways and we'll stay that way through the morning hours just increasing clouds over the course of the morning but no precipitation expected will be mostly cloudy at 10 a.m. up above freezing and in the early afternoon in the mid to upper 30s and those temperatures briefly hitting near 40 degrees still dry at one o'clock maybe a sprinkle or flurry at three and then some light rain showers for the evening commute here's the system that we're watching little clipper type system it's going to be cutting across the eastern great lakes and across uh, massachusetts by the afternoon let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast so those clouds rolling in this is at noon time you can see where that snow again mostly staying to the north of us far northern rhode island has the best shot of getting some light snow mixing in. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then for the evening commute, scattered rain shower is expected. Those move out pretty quickly, and the skies are already clearing later in the evening. Any accumulations with this system to the north of us going to be light. Most spots ending up with a coating to an inch or two of snowfall. Locally, though, we're looking at a far northern Rhode Island again, perhaps getting a little coating. We're thinking well north of Providence for that. So as the night goes on, the sky's clearing now. Any rain showers coming to an end, dry and mostly cloudy at midnight, still above freezing. By 5 o'clock in the morning, though, we are looking at some um uh, temperatures below freezing. Let's jump ahead because the weekend is dry for us, but we're tracking some rainfall early next week. This is 630 on Monday morning. Clouds and rain gathering and moving in through the morning hours. The afternoon just looks like a soaking rainfall, gusty winds as well, and mild temperatures that will continue all into the night. And then tomorrow, uh, Tuesday rather, we're still going to be seeing that rain throughout the daytime on Tuesday. This is Tuesday evening coming to an end either Tuesday night or early on Wednesday morning morning, so preparing for that for next week. Looking at the forecast for the upcoming weekend, though, we're cool and dry on Saturday. Temperatures running in the middle 30s after a chilly start in the morning, and then Sunday afternoon going to be a few degrees warmer. After a chilly start in the morning, we're going to see some increasing clouds late in the day. No issues if you're headed out to a holiday event, perhaps going up to the Pats game. Just going to want to bundle up. Monday into Tuesday, you'll need all that rain gear, though. One to two inches of rain likely, and then it's back into the chilly air after that system clears out. You can get the updated forecast.